I think that the patients that are considering surgery here at New York Presbyterian while Cornell need to know that whichever surgeon they choose for whichever problem they have, they're gonna get a complete commitment from the minute they walk in to the minute they walk out. We want to make sure that their patient experience is as good as it can be, not only medically, but from a personal interaction between them and all staff in the hospital and the medical school. Our commitment to patient care is absolute. Each and every patient is treated differently and uniquely. The way we personalize care is really through a team-based approach whereby experts really put their heads together and come up with a personalized plan for each and every patient. There's a reason that we consistently are ranked number one for cardiac care in New York. A lot goes into our patients' outcomes, not just within the operating room itself. Technical excellence is for sure part of it. If you don't do a good operation, you are starting from the wrong point. It's also the extraordinary patient care in the postoperative period. All those outcomes now are at the top of the list, and it's not just us saying that, it's actual data proving it. New York Presbyterian Hospital overall has the number four hospitals in the nation for the cardiovascular treatment. We have really created leaders in the field that have advanced the field of cardiothoracic surgery throughout the last few years. And this reputation that precedes us really allows us to take the most complex cases and provide the most up-to-date care. The focus is on a team effort which helps us provide the best outcomes for our patients in terms of their medical problems but also their stay throughout the hospitalization. When the patient comes in as a new patient to New York Presbyterian, they often get seen by multiple specialists which expedites their care and reduces any time delay in the diagnosis and treatment plans. By having people under one roof, often in one room, in one conference space, assessing a patient, you can really streamline the process and accelerate the management of decisions. So you have New York's number one hospital partnered with an Ivy League institution that translates into a great wealth of knowledge, experience, and research that all funnels right back to the patients. And it has allowed us to recruit top doctors, top researchers, and top students and deliver really on the mission that every academic medical center needs to have. Research that's done at this institution has a direct impact on patients. We've had countless examples in our own division of where we would take benchtop research efforts and bring them to the clinic. I think one of the initiatives that the hospital has strived for and we support very much is this idea of trying to standardize the care across the region. While Cornell Medicine as well as New York Presbyterian encourage us as the physicians to go out to the community for outreach projects and to inform the patients that we're here to help them. Our goal in each and every borough, whether it's Manhattan or Brooklyn or Queens, is to have the best cardiothoracic surgery program in that borough. We're all part of the same department and we share a lot of information. So we really combine the best of New York Presbyterian, both in Brooklyn and in New York, as part of the Weill Cornell Medicine System. All our surgeons are Cornell trained, so really by default, the same protocols and procedures and surgical techniques are implemented in Queens that have made the program at Weill Cornell so successful. There's always going to be a role for the high complexity patient and this is a place that does that and we will always be here to do that. And the surgeon is going to be completely attentive to what their needs are both in the operating room and out. And they're going to work collaboratively with the other physicians taking care of them to make sure that you get everything you need. And then the hospital and its people are going to make sure that everybody in the family, the patient, all the services that you need to get through it are provided at the highest level.